Hi friends, hello everyone. Welcome and welcome to PV Engineers YouTube channel. Today we are going to see that all track components with live demonstration. Come on, let's start. This is a newly laid turnout. Already I uploaded a video for how to laying the turnout with correct measurements. First of all, what is a turnout? A turnout is a track structure which diverts a train from one track to another track. This is 1 in 12 newly laid turnout. Based on the number of crossing, the turnout types are 1 in 8 and half, 1 in 12, 1 in 16 and 1 in 20. Nowadays, 1 in 12 turnouts are widely used in India. SRJ that is stock rail joint is the connection between normal track and points and crossing. This stock rail joint should be square to each other and it should be welded. Now it's not welded, it will be welded today. The rail length between stock rail joint and actual 2 hour switch should be 1144 mm. A turnout consists of three assemblies. First one is switch assembly, second lead assembly and third crossing assembly. First we can see the components of switch assembly. Switch assembly starts with toe of switch and ends with heel of switch. This plate is called gauge plate. This, this is used to maintain the gauge between two rails. This gauge plate is fitted with lugs and nuts with insulated material. It's also connected with the point motor. The point motor is used to, to drive the tongue rail for the diversion of the track. These rods are called as driving rod, normal locking rod, reverse locking rod, normal indication rod and reverse indication rod. This point motor is maintained by the signal and telecommunication technicians. In switch assembly, the angle between the gauge face of the stock rail and imaginary tangent drawn at the gauge face of tongue rail is called switch and triangle. For 1 in 8 and half, the switch and triangle is 0 degree 46 minute and 59 seconds. Other than 1 in 8 and half, all other switches are having same switch and triangles. They are 0 degree 20 minutes and 0 seconds. Only in 1 in 8 and half switches, the distance between theoretical tow switch and the actual tow switch is 439 mm. All other switches are having TTS and ATS at same location. Here the opening or throw of switch should be 115 plus or minus 3 mm. If it is thick web switch, the opening should be 160 plus or minus 5 mm. This structure bar is called leading structure bar and also called as anti-rising structure bar. Gap between the bottom of the rail and the leading structure bar should be 1.5 mm to 5 mm. Why? Because here the main rail is called stock rail and inner rail is called tongue rail that is main machined tongue rail top of the machined tongue rail is 6 mm below the top table of the stock rail the 13 mm head width of tongue rail is measured at 1682 mm from actual toe of switch at that point the tongue rail and stock rail will be same level Next we can see the junction of head. Junction of head means both tongue rail and stock rails are having the same head width. The JOH is measured at 5836 mm from the actual toe of switch. At this location, the both tongue rail and stock rail are having the same head width. If the length of the tongue rail is more than 6400 mm, it should be provided with web stiffness to increase the thickness of the tongue rail. This one in two switch is having three following structure bars. This one in twelve switch assembly is provided with slide blocks. If it is one in eight and of switch assembly, it will be provided with switch stops this is called slide blocks at this heel block heel divergence is measured heel divergence is the length between the gauge vest of stock rail to gauge vest of tongue rail for 1 in 12 heel divergence is 175 mm 
ஒன் இன் எயிட் அண்டா ஒன் எயிட்டி டூ பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் எம்எம் ஒன் இன் சிக்ஸ்டீன் ஒன் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் எம்எம் அண்ட் ஃபார் ஒன் இன் டுவெண்ட்டி இட் இஸ் ஒன் தேர்ட்டி த்ரீ எம்எம் அட் திஸ் ஹீல் பிளாக் த சுவிட்ச் போர்ஷன் இஸ் என்டட் அண்ட் லீடிங் போர்ஷன் இஸ் ஸ்டார்டட் ஹியர் அண்ட் லீடிங் போர்ஷன் இஸ் என்டட் வித் தியரட்டிக்கல் நோஸ் ஆஃப் கிராசிங் த லீடிங் அசம்பிளி கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் க்ளூட் ஜாயின்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஜிஎல் த்ரீ டைப் க்ளூட் ஜாயின்ட் ஹேவிங் சிக்ஸ் போல்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் சிஎம்எஸ் கிராசிங் தட் இஸ் காஸ்ட் மேங்கனீஸ் ஸ்டீல் கிராசிங் திஸ் கிராசிங் ஷுட் பி ப்ரொவைடட் வித் த செக் ரயில் டு கிவ் த லேட்ரல் கைடன்ஸ் டு த வீல் இன் தி அன்கைடட் கேப் பிட்வீன் த த்ரோட் ஆஃப் கிராசிங் டு ஆக்சுவல் நோஸ் ஆஃப் கிராசிங் The Chakrail clearance should be 41 to 44 mm. If there is excess clearance, the rail flange will be hit the nose and nose will do- damage. If there is less clearance, the Chakrail will be damaged and also neat gauge should be maintained. If there is tight gauge, the wheel flange will hit the nose and nose will be damaged. And if there is slack gauge, that will be the cause of damage. We are to check rail. Check rail clearance at flare end should be 68.75 mm. Length of the 1 in 12 crossing is 4350 mm. Length of the check rail is 4330 mm. The length between the actual nose of crossing and theoretical nose of crossing will be differ for 52 kg rail and 60 kg rails. In 1 in 8 and half, 132 mm for 50 kg. By adding 9 mm, it will be 141 mm for 60 kg. And for 1 in 12, 186 mm for 52 kg. By adding 12 mm, 196 mm for 60 kg. For 1 in 16, 248 mm for 52 kg. By adding 16 mm, 264 mm for 60 kg. Finally, the angle measured at theoretical nose of crossing is between gauge lines of v pieces is called angle of crossing angle of crossing is calculated by tan inverse of 1 by n where n is the number of the crossing i hope this video is valuable for railway men next video we can see the sleeper arrangements in points and crossing thank you